I'm going to demonstrate complex wound care on an abdominal dethyst wound. So I'm going to show you irrigation and packing via sterile technique with sterile gloves. First, I'm going to start, uh, set up my field before we open the wound so that our patient doesn't have an open wound to air while we're taking a few minutes to do this. So I'm going to put the blue pad on the patient just to catch any extra debris or water after we irrigate. And I'm going to take off the tray slowly. And I'm going to use this as a garbage. There could also be a garbage inside your tray. I'm gonna ask my patient if it's okay if I set my garbage up right here, and usually they're always fine with that. And then before I open my sterile field, I'm just gonna do my hands again. So I have all my supplies here, and then I can set up my sterile field. So make sure you're aware of where those forceps are so they don't go flying. see them. So I'm going to lift this a bit and then grab my forceps by this area here. Okay, now everything in here, one inch border, I consider sterile. I'm just going to flip my area for a bit. And then I'm going to move this to where I think is best for me. I'm going to move it there. So I'm going to just check my field here. Anything past the table is considered unsterile. So these areas are past the table, and then my one inch border actually begins here. So I'm gonna think of where I'm gonna put this afterwards. Here's another bag if you need to use. So we don't need that, you can throw it away, drop everything about six inches above. And I'm gonna need this inside, I'm gonna be using the sterile glove method. Okay, now I'm gonna open things into my sterile field. So watch how I drop this. I want to make sure this is a one inch border, meaning everything from here is unsterile. I'm going to get my sterile water. If it's an opened container, I'm going to lip it. If it's brand new, I don't, I don't need to lip it. And then I'm just going to carefully pour. And open everything up. So I'm, I'm going to assume it's, it's a packing based on the last nurse documentation. In Skills Lab, this is what our packing looks like. So I'm going to open that up in there. So you can either open it like this, or you can use your, to grab it. Just put that there. This is what it will look like in clinical, if you were to use a sterile Curlix packing. I'm going to need my irrigation syringe. Open some extra two by twos if I need. So show you how to so move it away from your field, open it with your thumbs, and then like that. And you can grab it with your forceps. Or another way would be to open it and then just I'm also going to need scissors to cut my packing. And I'm going to put that up there. And maybe another 4x4 four four if I need. I'll just leave that off to the side. For my irrigation, I need to get my um, cannula. So same thing, I could drop it or I could use my forceps, whatever I feel more comfortable with. Looks like it'll drop. Grab the forceps. So that would be considered contaminated. So what I would do is take it from the sterile field area, not from there, and take it out of my sterile field. Then I would use the call button and call a nurse to come and bring me another one. Thank you, fellow nurse. And here it is, then I will, so you can bring in two, just in case. And just be 
extra careful when dropping the next one. There you go. Okay, so my field is set up. Um, I'm gonna use sterile glove technique, but before I put them on, I gotta get my patients set up. So I'm gonna move this a little bit. And I'm gonna take off my patient's dressing with clean gloves. So, two clean gloves right here. 